Hello, and welcome to Understanding Flood Risk in the Delaware River Watershed. My name is Marshall Freck. I'm director of the Flood Safety Program based out of Boulder, Colorado, but I grew up in the Lehigh Valley. I've been working with the Nurture Nature Foundation to create a comprehensive picture of flood risk in the Delaware watershed. And to produce this piece, we've worked with key scientists and local flood authorities in the region. Each of the chapters in this work have video interviews with some of these experts and additional links and key questions. The goal of this piece is to establish some basic facts about flood risk and point out the key questions that will help you consider and discuss your own flood risk with friends, family, and fellow students or professionals. And of course, we hope this helps you take the steps necessary to be more prepared for floods in the future. The following six chapters will cover a range of flood science, land use, and communication technology issues. For example, we'll be addressing the climate and weather of Pennsylvania and the region, and the flood potential embodied in the geography and hydrology of the Upper Delaware watershed. We'll also help clarify some widespread misunderstanding about the 100-year flood term. This will be followed by an explanation of new automated flood alerts from the National Weather Service that you can have sent to internet, email, or cell phone. Next, we'll see how the city of Easton, Pennsylvania has changed their land use codes and moved to a higher standard of flood protection after recently experiencing three damaging floods. I'll look at the chart. Lastly, we'll check in with a proactive resident who lives right along the banks of the river to see how he and his family cope with flood risk. So when it hits this level right about here, it's 24 feet high. 